Here's two words that might have a lot of you choking on your T-bones. Alternative health. These days, it's doing wonders for pets. The lung is the organ which the Chinese believe with breathing distributes the energy around and under the skin. And it's sort of just balancing around the aura of the animal and balancing their chakras which in turn balances their endocrine system. And this technique is called biomagnetic synchronisation and it's really a pulsation of a energy. Animals come in all shapes and sizes and the ways we treat them are just as varied. I'm a qualified vet and use diagnosis and prescribe conventional medicine. Dr Anne Neville is also a vet and an Eastern practitioner. Her treatments include herbal medicine and acupuncture. Jade's pulses today feel stronger. Oh good. And, mm. and the left one, mm. the, the yin deficient one, mm. is almost balanced. Jade suffers from a chronic skin condition. Jennifer, when she first came here, she, she was half hairless, wasn't she? Oh yes, and she was with all little lumps under the skin and she was miserable and didn't want to get out of bed. As a vet, I'd prescribe antibiotics for Jade's badly inflamed skin. But Jennifer uses alternative treatments for herself and she wanted the same for Jade. So what's she feeling now with all the needles in her hand? The, there's endomorphins released, so she'll be feeling a little bit morphined as if she's had a painkiller. So the needles are in specific locations? They're specific locations and her basic fault was a yin deficiency. A yin is the coolness and the stillness of the body and it's very important for immunity. And if you don't have enough yin, you get all sorts of heat diseases. Bye. There's nothing conventional about naturopath Bronwyn Stewart. Bye. Her pets include this big inquisitive boy, a Highland cow called Hamish and she happily describes herself as a witch. I'm really known as the White Witch. I did some voluntary work in Papua New Guinea and I was called the White Witch there and I really liked the title, so I've kept it. Good afternoon, Seacrest Natural Health, Bronwyn speaking. As well as her yeah, human clients, Bronwyn also treats animals using um, acupressure, which works on pressure down. points. There are three points I hold, the middle finger just above the top of the head, the other two fingers just behind, and that helps him to settle. And then I'm just going to move my hand down his spine. He had terrible cramps in his stomach about 10 minutes ago, and that's really backed off now. Carly Adams rescued three-year-old Ty from a knackery, but he suffered major injuries when he ran into a metal gate. I had pretty much tried everything else. Um, we couldn't get many answers from people. Um, and then I heard about Bronwyn. His back was very out, his jaw was out, his head um, up here through the vertebrae was very much out and he was really suffering a lot. So we have a point here and I'll take a corresponding point just behind his head and hold the two, which is sending an impulse through my middle finger down the spine to readjust. What do you say to the skeptics? You've got nothing to lose. And I'm just so happy with how far he's come. And yeah, I'd tell anyone to give it a shot, definitely. Give you a good massage and it'll help release that. Silva Morovics also uses touch to help the healing process. She's a canine myotherapist. Today, 10-year-old Roxy is getting help for her arthritis and stiff back legs. Well, we've been able to keep her muscles well toned, um, keeping spasms away, stiffness away. So, so that's been really good. So it's improved her quality of life and she's a much healthier, happier dog. Feel muscle. Whether we practice conventional medicine or offer alternative treatments, we all want to see the same results. Healthy pets and happy owners. We have skeptics coming here because there's nowhere else for them to go. And I say, just try it and they grudgingly admit that it works. <laughs> and as people are finding complementary medicine for themselves, um, it's very natural that they want it for their animals as well. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think you've come a long way from being banned at the stage. <laughs> <laughs> you feel good, so relax. Such a good girl, aren't you? Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. 
click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.